we have Minister Sheldon Smith with us tonight. Praise God. And he is going to be uh, uh, teaching us tonight. Praise God. And so I want to, amen, take this opportunity to introduce him tonight. Praise God. He's no stranger to us. Amen. Praise God. He, you know, is the regional missions director. Praise God. Hallelujah. Out of Luna, UPC. Praise God. Hallelujah. Very active. <laughs> Preaching all over the place. Praise the Lord. Amen. Especially in those boots on the ground <laughs> sessions that the press are having. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. They're there. Amen. Spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Make him welcome tonight. You will hear what he has to tell you tonight. Amen. As he comes in Jesus' precious name. Clap your hands unto the Lord as he comes tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give us a little repeat one more time. Let's lift our hands and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we stand up on our feet? Hallelujah. And begin to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we open up our mouth and begin to worship the Lord? Uh, tonight we are releasing, hallelujah, hallelujah, our praise. Is there anybody have a praise on their lips? Hallelujah. Begin to open up your mouth and begin to release it. Uh, saturate this place with your praise. Oh, God Almighty, I feel worship in here. Uh, hallelujah. Can somebody worship the Lord? 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 Yes, 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 yes. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Saturate this place. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Last week, we released our faith. Tonight we are releasing our praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just two more minutes, just two more minutes of undiluted worship. Yes, 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 yes. In spite of, I still have a praise. Yes, open up your mouth and worship him. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Deliverance is here when you praise God. Miracle is here when we praise God. Oh, God Almighty. Miracle is here when we praise God. If somebody can praise him. Is there no worshiper in the house? Is there no worshiper in the house? Is there no worshiper in the house? Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Praise God. Tonight you can disturb your neighbor with your praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm so glad to be in full truth. You may be seated. Praise God. So I'm so humbled to be here tonight. Just to worship the Lord and just to pray. And just to give God praise. Undiluted praise and worship. I want to take the opportunity just to greet the presence of the Lord. I want to take the opportunity to greet Pastor. Praise God. I don't want to take the opportunity to greet all of my father's children that are here tonight. And also those that are viewing via the social media platform. I greet you in the mighty name. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. Last week, the team that you dealt with was releasing your faith. And tonight, we want to look on releasing your praise. Is there any worship in the house? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Releasing your praise. We're going to be reading from the scripture reference of Psalms 34, one of my favorite Psalms. 
Praise God. Psalms 34. I'm going to just read just a portion of it. Verse 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Everybody say at all times. Uh, I want that. Say, say at all times. Say it again until you feel it, man. At all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. Is anybody want to boast in Jesus? <laughs> The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Verse 3. Oh, magnify. Yes. The Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me. And deliver me from all. Everybody say all. <laughs> all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened. And their face were not ashamed. Mm. Love this part. This poor man cried. Yes, yes, yes. And the Lord heard him. Not the pastor, not the bishop, not your son, not your husband, not your wife. But the Lord, everybody said the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Lord heard him and saved him out of all. Everybody say all again, man. Not some of your troubles, but all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that what? Fear him and deliver them. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed. Everybody say blessed. Blessed is the man, O oh God, that trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, he is saints. For there is no want to them that fear him. The young lion do lock, oh God, and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desired life and love it many days that he may see the good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil. Do good. Uh, God, seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. I'm going to stop there. Heavenly Father, we give you glory and we give you honor. Let your will and only your will be done as we teach in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight we're going to look on releasing your praise. Releasing your praise. You must understand, beloved, that praise is an act of worship or acknowledgement by which the virtues or deeds of another are recognized and exalted. You must understand that our praise toward God is the means by which we express our joy to the Lord. 
Amen. You must understand that we are to praise God both for who he is and for what he does. Praising God for who he is is called what? Adoration. And praising him for what he does is called thanksgiving. You must understand that praising God may be in a song, in a prayer. We can praise God individually. That simply means we don't need no instrument to praise God. We don't need no choir <laughs> to praise God. We of our self individually can praise God. Hello. And the thing that I love about that, beloved, uh, nobody can stop your praise. Oh God. Because your praise doesn't, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah, doesn't need anyone approval. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You must understand that we can praise God spontaneously. Have you ever been walking and you just feel the joy of the Lord? <laughs> and you just begin just to worship God. Amen. Oh God, you just be a Lord. <laughs> Have you ever just get up in the morning and you just feel the joy and the presence of the Lord? You don't have any money, but you just still have a joy. Oh God. Everything is not going on right, but you still have a joy. Oh, you don't talk to me, man. Praise God. You don't eat the breakfast, but you still have a joy. Oh God. You don't make your mint tea yet, but you still have a joy. Because something inside of you is bubbling up. Which is the presence of the almighty God. Oh God. Hallelujah. Oh God. Lift your hands and worship him. So we can praise God. Spontaneously. And we can praise God. Prearranged. When we come into the service. Praise God. We have the moderator. And she uh, starts a selection of song. And we join him. And we begin to worship God with the moderator. A preacher, the speaker, whatever, praise God, come. Uh, they start, praise God, worshiping. And we join in, praise God. Prearrange, praise God. And so, beloved, you must understand that the Bible says, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. The thing that I love about David is that David was a worshiper. David was a praiser. And I, I want to, uh, God, to emphasize, beloved, that in this season and in this time, if you can't praise God, my, I'm telling you, beloved, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, uh, God. If it's the only time you can praise God when food is on the table, you're going to be in trouble. But note what David said. I will bless the Lord at all times. Oh, God Almighty. And his praise, oh God, shall continually be in my mouth. David says in Psalms 71, somebody find that for me in verse 6. He said, my praise shall be continually of you and will praise you yet more and more. Oh, God Almighty. I wish that the 21st century church will get back to true praise and worship. When we begin to worship God, beloved, hallelujah, we don't watch the time. <laughs> Even if the music is off, that doesn't show off our worship. Oh God, the church is quiet. Oh God, too much of us, we are depending on the musician and the music to get us to praise God. But true worship doesn't need no musician to praise God. 
Oh God, they don't talk to me. True worshipers and praisers doesn't need the keyboardists. Doesn't need the organist. Doesn't need the drum to praise God. Because the praise that is inside of you is springing up. Oh, God Almighty. So it's not something, beloved, hallelujah, that you, when you come into the presence of God, you pick up. The praise that you have is a lifestyle. No. Oh, God, the church is quiet. Let me continue and take my seat. One must understand, beloved, that praise is a lifestyle. Everybody say that. Praise is a lifestyle. In other words, praise is not a church event. It's not an act, but should be a lifestyle. Oh, God Almighty. In other words, uh, God, praise doesn't start, and I like to say it and emphasize it. Praise doesn't start when you come to the doors of the church. Praise starts at home. Oh, you don't talk to me. <laughs> Praise start at home. Praise God. It must be a lifestyle. In other words, we don't pick up praise when we come here Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. We put it down and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We don't have no praise life. Uh, and then we pick it up back Sunday. Oh God, no, no. God. We praise God Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 24-7. We praise. Praise God. Oh God. Hallelujah. So praise must come, become a lifestyle. Oh God. Hallelujah. Now, the scripture that we have read, Psalms 34, you must understand, I'll give you a little backdrop. You must understand that the time that David wrote these Psalms, it was in a period of his life where David was running away from Saul. And scripture tells us that Saul had vowed to kill David because of jealousy. The Bible said David ran to God and to King Abish, and he wanted to seek refuge in God. However, the scripture tells us that some of the king's servants saw and they recognized David and they began to sing song. Saul had slain his thousand. But David has slain his ten thousand. Now David realized that he was recognized by the enemy. And so the Bible tells us that David began to act like a madman. <laughs> Praise God. And he began to spit upon himself. And so when the king and the nobles heard that David was in their midst. They sent to fetch him. But when he came into their presence. Uh, God, they were saying, what? Uh, God, audacity you bring this madman in my presence. Uh, God, pity they that did not recognize that David was purposely acting like a madman. Oh, God Almighty, praise God. Hallelujah. And so the Bible tells us that they run him away. So this is a madman, but this is not this mighty David we hear about. Praise God. And so when David leaves the presence of his enemy, the Bible, the, the, the author and theologian said that he penned his psalms. I will bless the Lord. Oh God. At all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh God. What I realized that is happening in the 21st century church. Is that. Oh God. And I always say it. We are too much conditional worshippers and praisers. Oh God almighty. <laughs> The only time we can praise God if we feel our belly is full. Talk to me, the man. Praise God. Hallelujah. When our belly is full, praise God. When you, uh, God, drink the sour juice on Sunday, 
and we eat the oxtail on Sunday. But can you praise God if you just eat mackerel and rice? Can you praise God if you don't eat nothing at all? Oh, God Almighty. Huh? Can you still lift up God? Praise God. If there's no sugar in the sugar tin. And there's no Lasco in the Lasco bag. Can you still lift up your hands and worship God? Oh, you're not talking. And that's why David wrote in verse 6, this poor man cried. Oh God. And the Lord heard him. Oh God. Let me tell you, beloved, when you praise God, God will, oh God Almighty, God will step in your situation and deliver you out of all your troubles, all your phrase, all you got to do is to release some praise. Oh God, this poor man, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Then he read that classic verse 7, the angel of the Lord, oh God, encamp and round about them that fear him, oh God, and oh God, you know, talk, and deliver them. Oh God Almighty. You must understand, beloved, that there's a raging war against praise and worship from the beginning of time. Let me tell you, the devil doesn't like when the believer worship God because he loses, oh God Almighty, hallelujah, his authority to praise God. So anybody release praise, the enemy is mad at them, but still praise God in spite of. Oh God, lift your hands and worship the Lord. Lift your hands and worship the Lord. You must understand that the devil is mad at praisers. But the devil cannot overthrow praisers. But they praise God, you confuse the enemy. Oh God. You must understand that praise and worship connect us to God. Oh, God Almighty. You know, recently, praise God, at Abundant Life, we, 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 um, last Sundays, we are trying it out, praise God, when we come to church, oh, uh, God, we don't do much, oh, uh, God, on the ordinary service, oh, uh, God, at the last Sunday, we just come into the presence of God, and we just worship and praise God, oh, God Almighty. Sometimes you just have to lose and just worship God. You know, talk to me. Sometimes you just have to take a time out. Uh, and let's begin to give God thanks and adoration. Uh, and say, we bless you, Lord, because your goodness uh, and your mercy endure it forever. Oh, uh, God. I'm sick, but I'm still worshiping you. I have cancer, but I'm still worshiping you. Oh, uh, God Almighty, I have diabetes, uh, and my blood pressure is high. But I still got to praise in spite of. Yes, the enemy is fighting, but I still got a praise. <laughs> is there anybody here tonight still have a praise? I can't see it on your face, you still have a praise. <laughs> Somebody open the mouth and shout, I still have a praise. In spite of, I still have a worship. Yes, yes, you may be seated, not preaching, not teaching. <laughs> So you must understand, beloved, that our praise connects us to God. You must understand that no circumstance should be able to stop the believer praise. Hello? Let me say it again. No problem that you're going through, no fight that you're getting, should ever stop the praise of God. Oh God, some people, some people don't get that yet. Some people don't get it. I don't care whatever you're going through. Oh God, let me tell you, it must not shut up your mouth when it comes to praising God. Oh God, anything that you're going through, make sure you're still on your praise. Yes. 
Nothing. Say nothing. Somebody shout nothing again, man. Nothing supposed to stop the praise of God. Oh God, nothing must stop you from worshiping. Oh God, I don't care what they said. When you come into the house of God, you must be free and have liberty to worship God. Nothing makes you sit up for your worship. But we don't praise man. We praise God. Oh God Almighty. So you must understand when you praise in adversity and crisis, the enemy sees that he cannot control you. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Oh. He can't control you by external forces. You know the enemy sends some things just to shut down with prayers. Why oh, you not talk to me, boy? Oh God Almighty. The enemy sends some attack just to shut down your prayers, you know, beloved. But when you still praise God, what you say to the enemy, I don't care what external forces, you still can't lock down this, oh God Almighty. You might try to lock down anybody else, but you can't lock down my worship, my praise, my adoration to God. That's why. Because when you praise God, you are connected to the higher realms. You are connected to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We are connected to the I Supreme Power. We are connected to the Paracletus, the Comfort of the Holy Ghost. When we praise God, we are connected to Him. We must understand that praising God will open up doors that were closed in our face. Praising God will pull, oh God, put you in right place at the right time, oh God, for the favor of God to bless you. you. Must understand, beloved, when you praise God, you don't have to run on favor. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> when you praise God, beloved, you don't have to run on people for a bus. Oh, you don't talk to me, man. When you praise God, you don't have to beg people, God. Because God will prepare, oh God, a table in the presence of your enemy. When you praise God, goodness and mercy will follow you. Oh God Almighty, when you praise God, a thousand shall fall at your side. Oh God Almighty, and ten thousand at your right. When you praise God. You don't believe me? Let us turn it to Psalms 100. What Psalms 100 says? It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all he lands. Serve the Lord with what? Oh God. That simply means, beloved, when you come into the presence of God, you can't come into the presence of, of God with sulky fears. Oh God Almighty. <laughs> When you come into the house of God, even if you're vexed outside, when you enter into his presence, uh, there must be gladness of joy, oh God Almighty. There must be some happiness. Oh, you can't come down in the house of God uh, and sit down sulky. Uh, there must be something springing up. What the Bible says, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before is what? Presence with singing. Lord God Almighty. Know ye that? That the Lord is God. Is he that hath made us and that we are ourselves. We are is I don't care what the devil tell you. I don't care what the devil whisper in your ears. You are a child of God. I got a church quiet, but the church quiet. And that's alone, oh God Almighty, supposed to make you lift up your hand and worship him. Because you're a child of a king, oh God. You are the child of the king of kings and the Lord of lords. That alone, oh God, let me let you release your worship. It says, Know you that that the Lord he is God. Is he that have made us and not we are ourselves? We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Yes. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving 
and into his courts with praise. Yes. Be thankful. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, as long as you are breath in your lungs, oh God, be thankful. As long as you get up in the morning, be thankful. Oh, God Almighty. Unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth enduring. Yeah. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Praise God. So you must understand, beloved, that praise connects us with God. You must understand that praise is a continual attitude. Oh, God Almighty. God can be mobilized by our praise. The agent of the Lord can be mobilized by our praise. Remember, he dwelleth in and inhabits in the praises of his people. Meaning he moves from throne to your abode. Oh God, when you praise him. Oh God. Must understand, God wants to change our garments of sorrow. Our garments of pain and sickness and disappointment into perpetual praise. God is looking for a people that will Praise him and bless him in spirit and in truth, in spite of circumstances. One of the things that I want, that I pray for, there's some church like that here. I pray that all of the Pentecostal apostles, apostles become like that. When you go overseas, beloved, there, especially with UPCI churches. Oh God, they don't need anybody to pump them to worship God. You don't talk to me. And what I realize, beloved, is that we can only worship God when we talk about host, land, and car. But if you talk about just Jesus alone, nobody will get excited. Oh, you don't talk to me, man. Oh God, just the goodness of God and who God is. Oh God, must get us excited. Oh God, hallelujah. When somebody come and say, Jesus, oh God, we run up and down and lift up holy hands. I begin to release the worship because his goodness endureth for all generations. We don't need half of our song to get us cranking. Oh God, as we say, Jesus, as we say, one thing we are giving 100%. We now got fifty percent, and we just take them a crack and go through the service. Oh, uh, you don't talk to me. Uh, till we reach out to all, we still uh, some people are start cranking. Uh, oh God, but when they come into the house of God, you're crank up already. Uh, you see, oh God Almighty, uh, you have your praise and your worship. Uh, so as somebody say Hallelujah, uh, Hallelujah, you're excited. Oh God, yes. I need nobody to crank me up. I have a praise. You must understand, beloved, that's so wrapped up. That the adversary is allergic to praise. <laughs> oh, God. Every time you praise, the adversary sneezes. Oh, God, I'm allergic. I'm allergic, man. <laughs> but still praise God. You don't talk to me, man. You don't talk to me. Huh? Yeah, but still lift up your heads and praise God. Oh, God, let his allergy act up. Oh, God, but we still got to worship him. Oh, God, somebody say, I'm going to worship him. Praise is what I do. Praise is what I do. Praise is what I do. The problem... With some of us, we want to praise God when we feel like it. Let me tell you, praise have nothing to do with your emotion. If you're going to wait until your emotion feel good before you praise God, you're not praising God. Oh God, hallelujah. If you're going to praise God when you feel like it, you're not praising God. And God don't want that type of praise. Oh God, praising God have nothing to do with your emotion. That it simply means, even if you don't feel like it, you must do it. And give God your best. Oh, your church, you don't talk to me. Praise God. We want to praise God, but everything is okay. But can we praise God when there's no clothes on our back? And our bills are high. 
Can we praise God? Oh, God Almighty. Hallelujah, praise God. Praise is what we do. Touch your money to praise is what we do. Oh, God. You must understand, beloved, when you read in the scripture, the Bible tells us about a man called Paul and Silas. The Bible said that they were in prison. The Bible said at midnight, oh God, they begin to praise God. And the Bible said the doors will open. Let me tell you, when you praise God, doors will open. Uh, not only doors was open, but everything that was bound in them up, praise God, was broken. Oh God Almighty, when you praise God, generational curse must be broken. At midnight, they praise. If it was us, we'd be so discouraged. Maybe we'd be so vexed. We'd be cursed, God. So, God, may I serve you? Oh, come to my prison at this place here. I mix up a murderer, a thief, and a rapist. Oh God, we, we, we begin to might be with a question, God. Is, is God, is this your will? This, this can't be your will, being in the situation. And everybody outside are going, oh, you know, talk to me, man. Praise God. But Paul and Silas, oh God, they didn't murmur. All they did was to worship God. Oh God. True worship is birth in pain. True worship is birth uh, when everybody forsake you and you're bowed up uh, and doors are closed. Uh, true worship is birth. True worship. Everywhere you turn, doors close. People shut the door. But can you praise God the same way? Oh God. All, all time means in every situation of life. In every event that occurs, the idea that the idea is that he would do it publicly, what we do privately. Oh God Almighty. When we praise God, beloved, God is gonna bless us publicly. Oh God Almighty. Let me tell you, when we praise God, the Bible tells us he will make even our enemy to be with peace with us. Oh God Almighty. Hallelujah, praise God. The song that said, praise is what we do. You must understand that your praise is God. It, in God is your strength. Your praise is a secret weapon. When we praise God, our faith grow. When we praise God, our spirit is empowered. When we praise God, God invaded our circumstances. When we praise God, God releases us from our worries. When we praise God, God fights our battles. Oh God. Hallelujah. Praise God. But what is happening, beloved? Too much of us. Our praise has become the trunk rather than the engine. <laughs> oh God. In other words, our praise has become plan B rather than plan A. God. It's like a backup. No, 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 no. Say everybody say no, 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 no. Oh God, the praise is not the trunk. The praise is the engine. Hallelujah, praise God. When you praise God, God will move mountains. Oh God, you're, you're, you're a quiet man. Praise him. Psalm 103. But the wrapped up. I don't care what to do. If you are in the lion, then praise God. If you are in the fiery furnace, praise God. If you are in the pit like Joseph and his brothers are around to slay him, praise God. But I will bless the Lord. Lord, I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. Let me tell you, when you, even when you, when you, when you are a worshiper and a praise, you don't have to worry what this new year is going to hold. Because you understand that God is still on the throne. Oh, God Almighty. Whatever thing this new year holds, beloved, because you are a worshiper, because you are a praiser, God is going to take care of you. See him, God. That take care of Abraham. It's the same God is going to take care of you. 
The same God that take care of Isaac is the same God that's going to take care of you. The same God that take care of Noah is the same God that's going to take care of you. The same God that take care of Joshua is the same God that's going to take care of you. The same God that take care of Paul and Silas is the same God. Is the same yesterday, today and forever. Is immutable. Is unchangeable. Is specialized in things impossible. That's why we praise him. Oh God. Oh hallelujah. Lift your hands and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. When you praise God, you can't be of cute. Oh God Almighty, because something is inside of you. Oh God, if shoes are body, you kick off shoes and worship God. If at a body, you pop off hat and worship God. If tie a body, you pull off tie and worship God. But you can't acute because something inside of you spring it up. Fire, oh God Almighty, shut up in your bowl. Release your praise. Psalms 103. It says, Bless the Lord, oh my soul, hallelujah. And all that is within me, Lord God, that is simply me, beloved. Uh, your tribe must praise God, oh uh, God Almighty. Your blood cell must praise God. Uh, your ear cell must praise God. Uh, your eye cell must praise God. Uh, you saw so God, you know, talk to me, man. Uh, everything about you must praise God. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not. God Almighty, God, hallelujah. The same God that take you from 2000, 2001, 2002, 2020, 2021. That's our benefits. God said, don't forget his benefits towards us. Oh God, who forgive it all of thy iniquities, who heal it all thy diseases, who redeem thy life, oh God Almighty, from destruction. As many of us never see the destruction when we get up a morning, praise God, that God protect us from when we take the taxi and the bus. Oh God Almighty. Oh God, go on the road, go on the job. Hallelujah. And the serpent and the scorpions try to plot to kill you. Oh God, you will lift up your hands and magnify the Lord. Who redeem my life from destruction. Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercy. Who satisfy thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth, oh God Almighty, is renewed like an eagle's. That simply means even when you feel old, oh God, when your prayers God, you're gonna feel like an eagle, oh God Almighty. You're gonna feel young. Prayers will make you look young. The reason why some of us look so ugly because we can't praise God, oh God Almighty. But we will lift up our voice and praise God. He will beautify you. Speak somebody that say you need to praise God. Some of us. We reach 20, we look like we in our 70s. Be a wrinkle up our face. <laughs> because we can't praise God. Oh God, but when you praise God, God will smooth out those wrinkles. Oh, you don't talk to me, but you don't talk to me. Praise God, you don't talk to me. Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercy? Who satisfy thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle? The Lord! Execute righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. 
He will not always shine. Oh God. Neither will he keep his anger forever. Oh God Almighty. Even for that you need to praise God. Oh God. Every time you messed up. Every time we sin. And God said mercy. Grace and favor. Oh God. We need to lift up and say God you're good. You're good. Oh God you never killed me when I messed up. So I'm praising you. Oh God Almighty. For your goodness and your mercy. Oh God. He had not dwelt with us after our one sins. If God, if God, if God, if we judge some of us because of the sins what we do, my God Almighty, Lord Jesus, that's why I can't, I, that's why I tell you, I can't play a truth after worship God because if God didn't have to judge me because of the sin, Lord God Almighty, I've been a dead long time, oh God Almighty, but because of his mercy towards me, But I sinned. And God said, you know, messed up here. And the penalty for that is death. But I still got to give you mercy. How can I be of cute when I come into God's presence to worship him? How can I watch you and you stop me from worshiping God? Oh, God Almighty. I got to worship him for his goodness. Let me say that again. He will not dwell with us after our sin. Thou reward us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth. Oh God. So great is thy mercy to all them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west. So far had God removed. Lord God. Oh God. Our transgression. From us, like as a father pitied his children, <laughs> so the Lord pity them that fear him, for he know it our frame, he remember that man had dust, Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, hallelujah. As for man, his days is or has grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourish. For the wind passes over it. And it is gone. And the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercies of the Lord is from everlasting. Lord God, to everlasting. Upon them I fear him. And his righteousness upon the children's children. To such as keep his commandments. And to those that remember his commandments. To do them. Can we lift our hands and worship the Lord? Can we lift our hands and worship the Lord? Oh God, you got the right to release your worship. Can somebody stand up on their feet even now? Oh God. And begin to release some. Oh God, some worship in the name of Jesus. There are some things that need to tear down. Oh God, just use your praise and worship. Oh God, you must understand that your worship is a weapon. And the devil cannot stop you when you lift up holy heads and worship Jesus. Is there any worship here tonight? Oh God, I feel a worship. I feel something. The devil got to back up when we worship God. Satan got to flee. Oh God, lift your hands, lift your hands. I feel some worship coming on. Yes, 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 yes. Give him glory, give him glory. Give him glory, give him glory. Yes, yes. The devil is a liar. He wants to quench your worship. He wants you to sit down on your praise. But we're going to release it in the name of Jesus. We're going to release it over our house. We're going to release worship in our church. We're going to release worship in our homes. Even on the job. We're going to worship Jesus.
Somebody worship him. Praise is what we do. Praise is what we do. For his mercy endureth forever. Let everything that I prince, let everything that I prince, Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. I feel deliverance. I feel deliverance. I feel a breakthrough. I feel something releasing the atmosphere. I feel a slow cold shatter. I feel the Shekinah glory. When we lift up Jesus, when we lift it up, Jesus is going to step right in in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. You don't have to worry. When we praise God, God will fix our children. When we praise God, God will fix our relationship. When we praise God, God will fix our home. When we praise Him. Yes, praise Him. We don't need no instrument to praise Him. We don't need no keyboard to praise Him. This is natural praise. This is natural praise. There's a fire that shut up inside of us. Somebody worship him. Somebody's worship him. Get ready. Get ready. God is raising up worshipers. God is raising up worshipers. God is raising up worshipers. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. Something is shifted. Something is broken. Why? Because somebody praising God. Narco Shato. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just walk up to your seat and begin to worship God. Lift up holy hands to Him. Yes, yes, yes. Every eye praise. Must come down. Every grove must come down. Every weapon must crumble. Every plot, every plot of the enemy. When you praise God, it must be destroyed. Every yoke must be broken. In Jesus' name. I want you to walk out of your seat and we get God some worship. Oh, God, lift up worship in this house. Lift up worship in this sanctuary. Lift it up in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Walk around this place and worship him. Don't be cute. Walk around and lift him up. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are worshiping. We are worshiping. Every seat that is in this church. Anybody that comes. It's the full truth. Must feel worship. There must be a likeness. In the name of Jesus. Oh God Almighty, walk up to the altar and worship Him in the name of Jesus. We're gonna lift up the atmosphere of worship. We're gonna release it in the name of Jesus. We're gonna lift Him up. Let everything that I pray, let everything that I pray, praise Him. Uh, yes, 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 yes. We are set up praise. We are set up worship. We are going to set it up in the name of Jesus. We're going to lift it up in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. The back is not yours. It's the Lord. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. 